Hi guys, welcome back to another video and I think this is the first AliExpress haul video I will do this year. It is 2019 already and for some reason it took ages for my packages to get in. So yeah, it did take quite a while before I got like some of my 1111 orders in and I think it is because of the holiday season and there was like thanksgiving in between and christmas and all that stuff so i just think it was due to like postal issues that they couldn't manage the amount of packages they actually had to ship so yeah i just wanted to make this a quick and snappy aliexpress video i got some water decals and just a lot of other nail art goodies which are some gems some chrome flakies and so on so as usual if you want any direct links just ask me in the comments down below and i will reply to you directly if you are watching this and this video has been online for a couple of weeks i am sure there already are a couple of links shared to all of the products products I am sharing today. So yeah, let's start off with a ton of water decals. I think I got like 30 in total and I all got them from LCJ official store or that's just how the store is called and they were packed in these little like plastic thingies. So they weren't packed separately, but I did order all of them separately. So these aren't like combination kits or anything like that. Um, let's just start with the bigger ones. I don't know how much each single sheet was, but the prices ranged um, in between 14 cents and 25 cents. So it's like a quarter and you got yourself a nice little water decal sheet. So these are a little bigger than these, but these are actually so you can do them on the entire nail. If you have really, really long nails like I usually have, these are actually quite short for me at the moment. Um, they never fit my nails when they are like that long, but now I would actually be able to fit them on there. But I have to say I have very, very small, like narrow fingers and nails. So these really, really big ones, I could actually cut them up in half and use like one decal for like two fingers <laughs> so yeah that's like a big plus if you have very narrow nails um you can actually use one decal two times but this one just has like some nice flowers and just some earthy kind of like theme on there i got a lot of like roses and stuff and i think i will use this one in one of my upcoming uh valentine's day tutorials because i just think it is a gorgeous one with the grayish tones and the pinks and i think this would look beautiful with like a silver chrome or something then i've got some frozen decals but they're really cute like animated japanese kawaii version like it, this could come right out of a manga in my opinion or like an anime or something like that so yeah it's pretty cute i actually wished i got that one in like earlier so i could use it for my winter nail art week but stuff happens in life and um but oh man i'm so rambly today i'm like super rambly in loads of my videos lately and that is because i actually work full time and I always have to do my videos in the weekends. So I don't have like a ton of spare time to do so. So I usually also record a couple of videos after a long day of work, such as today. So I'm sorry if I'm a little rambly, but sometimes my brain just gets like fried and I can't like think and talk normally anymore. And it is quite hard to talk in English when I'm this tired because I'm like an authentic, like true Dutch girl. So I really have to like switch my mind to English or something like that. I don't know how to explain, but I think you get the message. Um, the next decal, let's just stop the rambling and continue with this stuff because otherwise people will get like impatient and stuff. And I don't want that. Um, this is a black base with beautiful like more of like the um, flowers you would see in Hawaii. I don't know how these are called. I know how these are called, but I can't remember. Um, but they are quite pretty. I really like the black backing. These have like a darker backing as well. Beautiful like yellow roses and lilies and such. These are all in black and white or like a gray scheme with flowers like peonies and stuff like that. Really beautiful, one of my favorite flowers. Um, this is really like a vintage rose 
like a, a flower curtain <laughs> idea, but I like it. And this one is even more kitsch in my opinion, or how do you say that, tacky or something like that. But I think it's beautiful. Really, if you just apply one or two decals to one hand or a complete set, I think that could be really, really pretty. So I think the bigger ones were around 20 to 25 cents, and the smaller ones were more from the 14 cents up to 20 cents. But as I said, I ordered all of these separately. So if you want any specific links, you could just let me know and I will look them up for you. Um, I've got some unicorns. I have got some really cool like tiger, um, deer, owls, really, really cool stuff. Some triangles. Um, these are all deer. So as I said, these were supposed to come in before Christmas. So there is like a ton of Christmassy stuff in here. I would have loved to use in my winter nail art week, but I will just keep them for Christmas this year. These are really beautiful as well. I really like these. These would look beautiful just to, if like they're too big for my nail, but you could easily just cut these up as well. Um, but I think it's really pretty to do for an accent nail. Then I've got some alien stuff and space and just an astronaut on a rocket. <laughs> that looks kind of like weird. Let's move on. <laughs> um, this is another wintry one, kind of Christmassy. Just look at how cute those bunnies are. Oh. <laughs> then another one with snowflakes, some trees. These are kind of Christmassy as well. Then I've got some really beautiful, like black and multicolored butterfly ones. These would be beautiful combined with like a neon Sharpie nail art or something. Then some mermaids. I really love like those jellyfish. Those are beautiful, especially if you have like a really long, like pointy stiletto nail. Those would look beautiful to just put it in the center. Some more Christmassy ones. These were just adorable. I'm really like a big cactus, cacti fan, however you want to call them. Um, they are just adorable. Unfortunately, I don't have like many cactuses or cacti in my own home like not the real plants because I have cats and I know like when I was younger we had like tons of cats and tons of cactuses or cacti or however is the correct way to say so <laughs> and they always like like bunk their nose in there and ugh, man I don't want like my cats to get hurt from a couple of little cactuses so I just made the decision not to get any real like cacti <laughs> but i might get some for like my bathroom or even like my office space because i really like them and this is just adorable they are like not too big like this is a really short nail and i could easily fit that one on there so that is quite cool and cute at the same time and as i said i'm a big cat person so i got some really cool like acro aquarelle aquarelle in dutch it's aquarelle but i'm not sure like water paint kind of stuff <laughs> i have oh man i just had to get these because i think i can make like some of my really young like clients to me my cat is mowing i think i can make some of my younger clients really really happy with these so yeah i just got these <laughs> And I've got some really cool flamingo ones. I just, I'm a sucker for flamingos as well. Some more Christmassy deer ones. Some lovely, like, how do you call these poppies, I think? In Dutch, they are called klaproze. So these are some really pretty, again, aquarelle, kind of, kind of like water paint butterflies. I really like the drippy effect of these. Really, really cool. Then I've got some like autumn like full kind of little prints and some little birds and some like really fall appropriate leaves like really beautiful like red ones but yeah there were all the decals from the lcj official store i got they're really affordable and again if you want any links just ask me down below let's continue with some other random stuff i got and i got this one from the seller called Emily van Kamp or van Kamp in Dutch. I think 
he or she actually has a Dutch like heritage or something like that because Van Camp is pretty Dutch. <laughs> but I've got some little pots with like shards or like broken glass, like shattered metallic stuff. So I've got two silver. I have got two gold. Oh, this is going to be flying everywhere. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's that. <laughs> so these are all like really tiny like shards and you can make some really cute like textured nail art with that. Let me just put these little thingies back in there. It's going everywhere as I thought. I don't know from what kind of material these are made. But I feel like it's just some kind of plastic. I don't think it really is like metal or glass. They're just... I think they're plastic. But I've got some multicolored ones as well. And I think these just look really cool. So I got these for, let me check, 35 cents a pot. So 70 cents for each color. Then I also got some cute like 3D roses in multicolors. I have to say I was a little bit disappointed in this one. It is um, cool in, in weight. It was four grams. But on the picture and some of the reference or like review um, pictures, I saw that there were way brighter colors and more different kind of colors in a pack. And I have to say I got tons of like these pastel sami Sami. <laughs> that this is what I mean. I'm too tired to think of words in English, so I'm just making up random Dutch words and making them sound English. I had I wanted to say salmony. A salmon is a zalm in <laughs> Dutch, so I got tons of the salmony, like really light pastel pink ones, and none are really like super bright apart from the uh, red ones. So I'm a little bit disappointed in these. But then again, I only got them for a euro. Um, I don't know if this is like super affordable. I feel like I can get them more affordable. But I was like, Neh, let's try them out. I had really high hopes and I got a little bit disappointed. But that's the life when you buy at AliExpress, I guess. And then the last stuff I got from this seller are little pots of like chrome flakies. And you can just place them like loose onto the nail. So you actually have like um, a flaky effect. But you can also buff these into the nail and create a beautiful chrome effect. So I've got a purple one. I haven't opened these yet or tried them out. But they all came with like a little um, eyeshadow applicator. So I've got a purple, I've got a green, I have got a gold because you know you need a gold and of course you need a good silver as well. And sorry if my camera was like shaking a little bit, my cat was jumping on the table and it isn't a lightweight cat, let's put it to that. <laughs> I have got a beautiful pinky color, it's kind of like a magenta. And I have got a beautiful like sapphire blue as well. So that are the colors I got in those. I don't think there were any other colors. I just got the um, complete set of six. And these were only 44, uh, 44 cents in euros. So yeah, I'm like pretty curious to see how they work. If they work nice on gel polish. If they also work nice on regular nail polish. Um, so I'm just going to try this out and see what I think of them. Then from the last seller is called V Neuro Store, like V I I N U R O. Um, I've got some mixed pots because you know me, I love my mixed pots. And I haven't opened these either, but I've got five little mixed pots. Sorry for the glare of like the lights. And I also got this little pot, and I actually thought these were all like metallic like hard little like bars but it turns out they're just gold colored little pieces of like um just a little string or or something like that they're not like hard metallic embellishments this is more like a little piece of like a wire but really flexible and flimsy so i don't know if i'm disappointed in that because i think that because it is just a soft like material now you could actually work with it better um 
like compared to a metallic stud you just have to bend them and it's all just a little bit of a hassle so i'm not that disappointed that they aren't like metallic embellishments so i'm just going to try and see if i can work with these and i got this little pot for 70 cents then i'm just going to open these off camera real quick so i've got five in total as i said and i got these spots for 1 euro 30 which isn't super affordable but they are packed quite nicely so first up i've got this little pink pot and there are like little like shards of like the broken metal slash broken glass in here as well uh, but also some bigger gems this is a beautiful teardrop there are some gold metal um, embellishments in here as well it all looks pretty cute and i think i can make some really like cute valentine's day nails with this one then the next i got is a green and oh i don't know if i can open this one without it flying everywhere oh this one is on there tight okay so i actually can't open this one and i'm just going to ask my husband to open it for me once he gets home from work because there is no way I am able to open this one so it's really tight on there but there's a lot of green in there and some like multicolored gems as well then I just unscrewed these <laughs> because I felt like if they're all like not going to open I'm not going to mention them a lot but this is like a gold and a clear gem one just look at how shiny that gem is wow there's a lot in there again some metal embellishments as well and also some of those like shards then this one has like opalescent pink very pretty as well and some gold and pink little shards and just little gems they are really really pretty i love them so much and then the last one is a multicolored one and this one just looks like a party to me it is so gorgeous there are some like flame colored gems in there uh some other gems just some pinks they are just it's a beautiful little pot and they were only 130 so that is still quite ooh, affordable this went flying like almost everywhere oh i have to be careful but yeah, unfortunately, I can't open this one. Like, it's so tight on there. That is just insane. But yeah, that was already everything I got. I really hope you liked watching this. Um, if you have, like, any recommendations yourself uh, for, like, really cool nail art stuff to get at AliExpress, please let me know in the comments down below. Because I am always looking for great deals for some awesome nail art products. But if you want any links yourself, once again, just ask down below in the comments and I will get right back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video.